In order to plan one last heist, a mediocre daredevil is brought back into his former life as an art thief by his untrustworthy brother in The Art of the Steel. Hi, I'm Kurt Russell. I welcome to Made in Hollywood, and uh, we're looking and talking about Art of the Steel. Great men don't take dives for a couple hundred bucks. I'll give you 700 bucks. 11. Six. Eight. Deal. The Art of the Steel uh, 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 came about from uh, the story of the Mona Lisa, the theft of the Mona Lisa, which actually happened in the early 20th century, coupled with my love of, you know, uh, con movies and uh, uh, heist flicks. Um, it was just kind of a natural fit. Great men don't miss their fate. I miss mine, Francie. The idea was to kind of do a throwback, you know, heist slash con artist movie, but update it in a, in a fun way and serving, using an actual historical uh, foundation for for um, our complications. You wanted to know when I was ready to go back to work. Well, I'm ready. I was kind of really taken aback by how clever I thought it was. I thought it took the genres of of uh, heist movie and con man and and uh, ultimately Sting, and I thought he just played all three of them really well. This is the one we're all going to be remembered for. The greatest art theft in history. He takes the initial character and then realizes that well, that's not exactly true right there. That's oh, not well, true. You know, we find those spots. Yeah, right? but but I mean, th no, it's it's more than just finding those yeah. spots. It's understanding the whole. Yeah. He's selling himself short. It was just it was amazing watching this guy work. And when you tell him, and he's like, well, no, <laughs> you know. But it's come on. It was it was that's exactly part of what Kurt does, and to be frank, on a level which I've seen no one else do. Fortune favors the bold. Because every now and then, you gotta take a leap of faith. Made in Hollywood.